uh, I think it's just calmed down now. To be honest, it was a uh, yeah, it was a really good second half for the neutral. I don't know for both um, managers, um, but it was yeah, very eventful. A lot happened. Uh, we're just grateful to win. Miles. Yeah, he was, um, and he was after the game. He was worried about his his ankle. It, it was a twist. He felt he could carry on until right at the end of the first half when he signalled to come off. Uh, ne- never, never a good sign from our perspective. We'll have to get it scanned and checked out and and see what the damage is. Uh, we hope it's not long term, but at this moment in time, we don't know. Okay, Luke. Do you think you should have, with hindsight, it's an easy thing, do you think you should have maybe taken him off a bit earlier? Yeah, probably with hindsight, but the player wanted to stay on and I, I always tend to, you know, as long as it's not a concussion, always tend to go with the player because the players know how difficult the Premier League is and they know their bodies better than I do at that moment. Um, but he was probably limping for five minutes at the end of that first half. But um, that's always a difficult one, right on half time to make a, make a change. I like to try and do that in the calm of half time to make a proper decision. Um, he played very well in the first half as well, um, despite the injury. Um, can you talk us through the penalties from your perspective? Um, right decisions, wrong decisions? <clears throat> yeah, I can give you my opinion live, as in yes. what I saw. I haven't seen any VIR replays or slow motions. I felt the first one in my gut feel could have been a penalty. I didn't feel the second one was. I'm told that might be the other way around, uh, but that's what I saw at the time. And then uh, the drama at the end, that the noise that came when they missed the penalty was ruled out. Was that the turning point, you think? That just the whole place seemed to ignite? Yeah, I think we got a lift from that moment. Um, bizarrely, sometimes that can happen. They miss the penalty, the crowd really get behind us. Our players feel a sense of maybe a little bit more freedom because we could have been behind and we weren't. Uh, Alex comes on, I thought he did really well, Maxi did really well, so two t- uh, substitutes really made a difference for us and uh, great to see Alex score. Were you aware he straight away that it was a double touch? No, no I wasn't, no. Um, I couldn't see his feet and behind the ball. I could see that the ball went in the other corner than he, than he may, uh, maybe meant to put it. Uh, obviously very pleased to see that one ruled out. Okay, Chris? Eddie, when did you make a decision on that you were going to start Joe Linton? Could you just talk us through that? Yeah, I had a, a long meeting with my coaching staff yesterday afternoon after training um, where we debated the whole scenario. Um, ultimately, I have to make the decision and I did. As I said in my press conference yesterday, I didn't underestimate what Joe did. Um, but there's a whole host of things to consider around it. And I, uh, yeah, I felt uh, this was the right call at that moment. And this game marked the halfway point of the Premier League season, obviously in third place in the last four of the Carabao Cup. How would you assess how things are going? Yeah, it's been a really good first half of the season for us. I think we've um, improved from the start of the season to now. I think there's still more growth in the team to come. Um, yeah, and very pleased with the players' commitment and what they've delivered for, for the team and for me and for the club. So uh, I think we're in a good place, but the challenge only gets harder. Okay, Stan, from and how important is it for Alexander to get that goal again um, after seeing a very difficult spell? He obviously started off well for you, didn't he? It must be very pleasing for you and the player to get that out of the way. Yeah, I'm really pleased for him personally to get that goal. Uh, a winning goal in front of the Gallagher end. Um, big moment in our season. I think the difficulty for him is he's had a period of time out of the, of the team and he's had to watch the team do really well. That's never an easy thing to do for an injured player. Um, but he's been very calm and focused on his comeback and what he can do for the team. And it was just great to see him and um, the rest of the forward players uh, link well and score. John? How pleased were you with uh, Ed Park Davis substitutes? You followed all Jim Murphy wins all high. Obviously, Alexander, he's up from himself. Yeah, I don't remember too much about the build-up to the goal. I just remember the what's stuck in my head is the finish. Um, but I'll review it back, and I'm sure I'll be very pleased. Look, Jacob's never let us down. He comes on, um, and yeah, you know, for me, he's a, a very, very positive person, and he's influenced the team this year. So really pleased with his impact in that. And I thought Maxi was very good today. I thought he gave us a different dimension and gave them a different problem on the left-hand side. So pleased with him, his impact, and obviously Alex has scored the goal. So yeah, good day for them. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I think um, we kept to good principles today. I don't think we, we deviated. We didn't panic. We didn't shoot from long distance. We didn't get edgy in our play. I thought the players deserve a lot of credit for continuing to do the right things. Again, there was numerous chances went miss, uh, went begging. We um, we missed some really good opportunities, but at least we're creating and a number of chances. Again, our statistics from that game will be very good. So, all positive signs. Scott, it's five uh, Premier League clean sheets in a row, and you know, been various different things in those games. Not necessarily the same all the way through, but probably what that has been all the way through is sharing. <coughs> Yes, it's been at the hallmark of our success really this season to this point. I think we've we've had a group that, as you say, has given everything not to concede as, as a first port of call before you talk about our attacking play. You've got centre forwards who have worked very hard. You've got wide men who have really supported and helped their fullbacks, and that that runs through the team. And I think that was there. That was evident today. Nick didn't really have too much to do. Of course, they've had a penalty, um, but as a team, I think we've defended uh, very well. And if you can defend well, it gives you a chance to win any game, and that's what happened today. Craig, how do you think consistency in the business will be dependent on injuries and like? So that ends with Bruno and does something that could potentially be. Serious? Will you be knocking upstairs and making that point? Well, we see, Craig. I think I'll <coughs> first assess the injury. Uh, we are light in midfield. There's no doubt about that. Today, um, we were missing Elliot as well, who's another player who can play in there with a we think a minor calf problem. <coughs> so um, uh, we'll get the diagnosis on on Bruno's injury and then make a decision. Yeah, Mark, uh, he just fans of Phil that fan out before the game today. I mean, that good moment for you. The message on it, we need to compete, to be liked. It seems, seems to be a message that's got for you to the fans. Yeah, it was, I didn't expect it, I didn't know it was there, so to come out and see that um, was a, a really nice surprise for me personally. Very thankful for, for that from everyone connected with the War Flags. And, um, yeah, the important thing then is we back up that message, really. Um, easier said than done, but I think the players did, did display that today. Martin? I think it's huge. Um, I don't underestimate it. I hope to try and keep that relationship as positive as possible. I know it's dependent on results. Um, I also think it's dependent on my attitude and the things I try and display about myself and how I go about the job to display how important it is to me and how serious I take it and how hard I work to defend the club at all times. Um, you're not always in control of the results but I'm in control of those things and I'll, I'll do that for as long as I'm here okay. Peter? Um, I think Frank and Sher before this game spoke about the importance of winning all the games well uh, how, how important is that for your team to be able to do that after Leeds as well but I guess you're doing it yeah there's loads of different ways to win and the ideal is that you play unbelievable football in total control and you win comfortably but in the Premier League that's, that happens very very rarely on those days, you make the most of those occasions, but normally they're very tight games. They're decided on moments, big moments. Thankfully, we're on the right side today. Um, we have to try and do everything we can to remain on the right side of those marginal uh, uh, big moments in games. Yeah, that was the first time we saw those forwards all on the pitch at the same time together. Do you think the balance is there to start them all together one day as well? Let's wait and see. I, th I think today was the right moment. You know, I thought long and hard during the game what to do. Uh, we felt it was uh, an opportunity to maybe uh, go for the three points, but the easy thing is to think that the more attackers you put on, the, the more chance you've got of scoring. It doesn't always work that way. Sometimes it can be counterproductive. But today it worked. Um, I believe in all those players, and I believe they can play together. Whether we start that way, uh, it will just depend on the game. Okay, Andy? Eddie, hey, seasons often hinge on defining moments. How big, how defining a moment does that feel to you when I'm doing that score? Um, <clears throat> it feels a big moment right now because it's happening right now but I, I think we'll dust ourselves down analyse the game and I think then we look ahead on the horizon we've got massive games to come so hopefully it can be a turning point in our season a positive turning point uh, but that remains to be seen when you're watching the opposition attack, attack it, do you ever feel 
anxious because it's not like you don't concede goals, it's just you don't look like conceding goals either. How, how, do, how do you feel? Do you feel so confident in that back line and the way they do defend? I am confident in the back line and, and the players that we have. I, I don't think calm is ever a, a word used to describe my emotions during a game just because you, you're at the mercy of something that's so unpredictable. Um, whenever the opposition have the ball, I, I'm uncomfortable because I want us to have the ball. Um, but the players, I have to say, have defended very, very well for a long period of time now. We just need to guard against uh, anything that uh, could jeopardise that. We just need to uh, understand what's brought us that success from a defensive perspective uh, and keep doing it. Okay, Martin. Eddie, Tottenham are playing Arsenal now. Who do you want to win? Um, I really don't care. <laughs> Um, and that's genuine. All I care about is trying to influence our results and uh, already th uh, thinking now to Crystal Palace. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much.